Hey guys, what's up? Let's start with what is RAM. Basically, RAM is an acronym of Random Access Memory. It's a memory used by CPU for computation. Most RAM are either SRAM or DRAM, as you can see in this figure. As we know that it is one of the most important part of our computer, so technologically advanced RAM with non-volatility, high speed and large memory is crucial and imperative. Here is the memory comparison from Everspin technologies of different kind of RAM. From last two decades, we have been already been using DRAM and SRAM in our mobile phones and laptops. Recently, MRAM, which stands for Magnetic Random Access Memory, is very promising because of its non-volatility. From this table, as you can see that STMRAM is non-volatile while existing DRAM and SRAM are volatile. So even if your computer is crashed due to power, then MRAM will not lose the data, while DRAM and SRAM will. Other thing is, energy required for reading and writing is much lower in STMRAM, while in DRAM and SRAM is much higher. So imagine, you don't need to charge your mobile phone and laptop for a week. So this technology is still emerging and in the next few years, MRAM will surely surpass DRAM and SRAM in speed and size as well. As we know that memory works in binary form like 1 or 0. So same principle is used for MRAM as well in which one state is 0 and another is 1. In MRAM memory, state is defined by the difference in resistance between the bits. The basic unit or a bit in MRAM is one tiny MTJ or magnetic tunnel junction. In a MTJ, there are three kinds of layer. Free layer, barrier layer and fixed layer. From the figure, the bottom ferromagnetic layer is fixed layer. Fixed means your magnetization direction is fixed. Magnetization direction is direction of your magnetic pole. Then in the middle, you have barrier layer. Barrier layer, which is non-ferromagnetic, means without any magnetization. The top layer is your free layer. Free layer, in the free layer, the direction of magnetization can be changed. How we can change is going to be covered later. When the direction of your magnetization in the top and bottom are different, then the electron passing through will face a higher resistance. While when the magnetization direction is similar, then electron faces very low resistance. Heavy metal layer on the top is used to switch the magnetization direction of free layer. Now let's see how heavy metal can switch the magnetization state of a free layer. Before that, I would like to clarify that we will use the inverse of this structure. Magnetization direction in spin orbit MRAM is switched by spin orbit torque. Spin orbit torque is mainly because of two effects. First, spin hall effect which is when a current flowing from left to right in this figure then on the upper interface of heavy metal layer you have a net spin or net polarization of spin while in the lower part of the heavy metal layer you have a net spin in the opposite direction second is rush by effect in this case when current is flowing from left to right then there is a net polarization of spin on the top layer. Both this effect will create a net polarization on the interface. This net polarization will create a torque on the free layer above it to change the magnetization state of it. Now I would explain a little bit more about spin hall effect. Spin hall effect is mainly because of two reasons. One is extrinsic which is because of the impurity or doping in your film. Second is intrinsic, 
the concept of intrinsic is similar to Magnus effect of a fly ball flying in the air with some spin. Suppose that a ball is spinning in clockwise direction as shown in this figure. The air is flowing in one side of the ball will flow backwards easily as the direction of the ball is opposite to the motion while on the other side the direction of the spin is in the direction of the motion which creates a net force on the ball in this direction while the magnetic force by the ball is opposite in this direction since the electrons are spinning in opposite direction so electron spinning in clockwise direction will go downwards while electron spinning in anti-clockwise direction will go upwards and this creates a spin hall effect now let's talk about Rashba effect Rashba effect takes place when at the interface of the two material there exists a broken spatial symmetry this broken spatial symmetry creates an effective electric field as shown in the figure. Current flowing from left to right creates an electron motion in the opposite direction. This E field with a electron creates a net magnetic field which is called Rashba magnetic field. The expression is something like this. This Rashba field induces a net polarization in the plane. This net moment or spin polarization is given by this equation. This spin polarization is perpendicular to the direction of the current. So this Rasba field induces a homogenized spin polarization in plane perpendicular to the current. Now let's summarize this. MRAM is one of the best RAM because of its low writing power and non-volatility. MREM state of 1 and 0 is governed by its resistance state. Spin orbit torque is used to switch the magnetization state of the free layer. Rashba and spin hall effect are primary reason of spin orbit torque. Rashba and spin hall effect induces a net spin polarization at the interface of heavy metal layer. Induced spin polarization creates a net torque on the free layer to change its magnetization state. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like this video and share it with your friends.